Hey, Karen, it's Hawkeye, your favorite radio DJ. Congratulations on 25 years at Channel 11. That is fantastic. And tomorrow does mark 25 years since Karen joined the CBS 11 team. And Madison, she deserves to take the day off tomorrow, which she will. So we're celebrating today. Or let's take a look back, though, at the first time she graced North Texas television screens. We need to say welcome tonight to Karen Borda, who joins us from Tampa, Florida, That's but she's it. really coming home. That's right. I'm here from the Metroplex. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Karen Borda. We are coming to you live from the 11 News Broadcast Pavilion at the State Fair. And if you have a need for speed, you are in the right place. So if you're watching and you have children who attend that school, do not send your children to school tomorrow. There has been a lot of damage in that area as well. It's approaching sunrise here in Rome. And Vatican officials are preparing the elaborate rituals that will mark the Pope's Death. Good evening. It's 10 o'clock. We begin with a serious accusation against a North Texas teacher. Good morning and welcome to our live broadcast of the Susan G. Komen North Texas Race for the Cure. Feel like a pilot? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're going to go. <laughs> wow. Let's listen in. I think they're counting down. Here we go. I'm shaking a little bit just because it's just it was wild. powerful. Yeah. Good morning, Karen. Welcome aboard this morning. The Bucks and the Ducks take the field tonight in Arlington at AT&T Stadium. CBS 11's Karen Borda live in D.C. where she went one on one with the president today. Karen. Now, the president told me that when an actual agreement is negotiated, he's going to put it on a website for everyone to see. Right now, much of downtown Dallas is a crime scene after police were ambushed during a protest. This Texas, you're like her mother, McKenna. McKenna is an all-around girl. She loves to do most everything. Oh, oh. I think so. Yeah! Team Karen is victorious. Yes! Gives me such pride to present you with the trophy. Team Karen, go take it to your Thank team. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. She deserves the victory today. She put together a great team. And she's a great partner with me in the fight against childhood cancer. It's more of like a family, so when you're excited with your family, like it's just so much easier. Speaking of family, we have a surprise! <laughs> Oh, that was a special moment. Lots of special moments that I'd completely forgotten about. I was able to share this desk for many years with a great colleague and an even better friend, Doug Dunbar. Doug, thank you for waking up early. I feel like I just saw you on the news last night or at 4.30 this morning. Well, you did. You did, Karen. And friendship is taken to a whole new level when you do the 10, go to bed around 1, and then get up to be with you in the morning. But it's well worth it. Uh, you know, I'm looking at that video you just aired, and I'm... I'm still a little aggrieved uh, at the stealing of the pulling together trophy. I'm going to be honest because uh, <laughs> Team Doug took it in the first year, but you came back, put together a solid team. But our our uh, uh, cancer fighting together through the years has has been a hallmark of a great relationship and and the fact that you care so much about people. You know, I uh, it's it's hard for me to believe. I mean, I'm trying to remember how long you and I actually anchored together. I mean, I know it was 10, 10 years or so together that I, we were, because you were on the yeah, morning well, show yeah, was, before it, joining it me at night. That's right. And what, what I remember, so I got here in 04, so I, I'm, I'm here for 16 of your 25. Uh, it was uh, late 06, 07 ish when, when we got together. I remember the first night, though, when we went HD. I don't know oh, if you yeah. recall that. It was 2007, oh. it was September. And we were all kind of like, well, you know, what's this going to be like? And it was late in the morning or, or early in the morning. It was like one o'clock because we did the rebroadcast of the news that usually airs. We did it live. And that was our test drive for the HD. And I'll never forget, we came out and, and we saw what HD really looked like with us. And you said, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> because the picture was so crystal clear and you could see absolutely every fault that we have and uh, it's been nothing but downhill since then with HD for all of us you know but uh, we, you know you and I uh, shared eight to ten wonderful years on the desk uh, you left Lee you left me like a half-eaten sandwich on the side of the road when you 
when you went to the morning show. But you know what people need to understand about that is you you did it for all the right reasons and, and reasons that I as the father now of a 14 and 17 year old are pretty envious. You were watching your kids fly by you in life and, and you didn't have the engagement that you really wanted to have as a mom working nights. It was just too hard, was it not? It was. It was very challenging, and I think that um, that things happened for a reason, and it, it was one of the best things that could have possibly happened to me because it did enable me to to spend that time with my kids before they all went off to college, and that's where they're either that yeah. now or Jake has already moved past college and is you know beginning his adult life. So, yeah, yeah. it's um, it was a blessing, and it has has been and, and is still um, a blessing, and, and just this entire experience, the 25 years that have just flown by. For me, um, I well, always said that. L l listen. Yeah. Go ahead. No, it's it's just that that this is where I always wanted to be, and this is where the station where I wanted to be, and and I'm just so grateful that I've been able to do that for 25 well, years. L let me just let me just say this in closing for from from my side is uh, integrity, kindness, caring. It, it's a package that you have brought. Every single day to the desk, it was a joy to sit next to you and to be a part of that and experience it. But I'll echo what Ginger had said earlier uh, in her taped message to you. Every question I get over the years about Karen Borda has always been, is she as kind and as genuine and as, in, you know, does she have the same integrity that I always see? And the answer has always, always been yes. Happy 25, my friend. We love you. Ah, I love you too, Doug. Thank you. And I miss you. I miss all of my friends that aren't here anymore um, in the building because of COVID. But some of them have come back. <laughs> my general manager, my news director, producers, and, and off air on the news desk, Haley, producer, and, and Gonzo. Guys, thank you so much. And thank you for the well wishes this morning. It has been my pleasure to be welcomed into your homes for the last 25 years and more. Thank you so much.